Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel. We send you good vibration, love, and peace. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of Scorpio. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Scorpios. The moon will travel in the signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and and on Sunday, something amazing happening. We have a spectacular, super intense, bright full moon in the sign of sensual and earthy Taurus. The biggest full moon we ever had since 1948. And me, I see it as a premonition and uh, that there's hope in the air. After all the madness that is going on, that super, super full moon will bring some kind of uh, miracles or healing somehow and bringing also higher tides more than usual but it'll be okay the Sun also in the Sun of Scorpio opposing this super full moon brings a period of crisis of deep thinking deep transformation for all of us helping us maybe to be wiser smarter more grounded to wind things down wrap things up and wake up from our illusions and get back to the wheel and be a, a co-creator and participating to what's going on in society, not just being sleeping beauties, but wake up. What happened in this US election this week, we manifested, the American people manifested some part Bernie, some part, some part Hillary. Bernie is more the future, Hillary is more the status quo, and uh, Trump is more the, the past that's trying to, to get back the, the power. And it is a game changer because it's gonna change everybody's life one way or the other. The country made an amazing step forwards the last many years, and I feel that it will make, well, some steps backwards for a little while. All depends on how this new unpredictable president chooses to be his good side of his multi-dimensional Gemini personality or keep his promise to his base to undo all the good stuff that has been done in the last many years in this country for everything, for health, for the planet, to keep the air and the water and the environment clean and all that stuff and peace in the world. So let's hope. Trump does have a Venus in Cancer, so there's hope because it means that the people around him will definitely influence him. So let's put this in the universe and have a positive thoughts and send him a lot of wisdom. My advice to everyone, all of us are in this for the long run, but let's get ready for a lot of surprises and many sudden turns of events. Some good, not so good. But trust me at the end, it will all work out at the end. Still, let's walk on the path of the heart. No matter what, never give up on love. I'm telling you, love will always, always trump hate. Hate will not trump love. That's the message of the week this week. Okay, so hold on to your heart and still keep the hope and the faith. What is a good time for also to focus on being the best we can be because when you're the best you could be I'm the best I could be I make the world better and also to be proactive to participate in the system continue to fight for democracy for the human rights and for peace in the world and for also a healthy planet with happy animals happy vegetables and happy everything you know for us to get back our paradise well we are now making the decision are we going frontwards or backwards and it's also important that if you need to protest that's your right that's our right if necessary to stop something bad that's let's do it and another good news saturday mercury planet of communication will emerge from the depth of crazy scorpio and moving to a more optimistic uh, sign of Sagittarius for the next three weeks. In our personal life, in the media, in the political world, we will tend to embellish the truth, to go into the wishful thinking kind of mode, denial, and exaggerate, embellish maybe everything that we say and do. Let's be alert and focus and also 
grounded. Listen, observe, pay attention, look at, and be proactive in everything we do. There's definitely hope in the air, and the media, let's hope that they will get back their integrity. If you are from the media, please get back to be the, the truth seeker and make up for the damage, okay, that they did by elevating and normalizing this new president and do their job to protect all the people and vent and dig and provide us always with the facts and the truth in the future. I have some good news, Neptune, Planet of Dreams, We'll go frontwards next weekend, so hope is in the air, okay? One way or the other, I feel that that's going to be some kind of a, uh, a compromise in the middle somewhere, for a while anyways. Scorpio, let me start with you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Your leadership qualities are very highlighted some reason you feel really good the intense full moon in your relationship sector bring popularity hope and a feeling of rebirth of seeing yourself and your life in a different matter especially in your personal life also in your career for some of you focus on who you really are and what you really want out of life from now on a good time to forgive yourself and other people and also let go of the past Get ready for the new. Traveling favored, falling in love favored. So pay attention also to all the synchronicities in your life this week because the spirit world is talking to you. Cancers, Leos, definitely think highly of you. On the weekend, you receive a warm feedback from loved ones and also it's a period of healing. So don't worry about uh, the uh, Hillary Clinton, famous Scorpio with who is a pig boar in the Chinese horoscope, she'll be fine. She, she's still going to be around. And just remember, for the people who are happy, you know, about the election, that Hillary too, she won, she won the popular vote. So she won and he won. He got to be president, but it doesn't matter. She still won too. And at the end of the day, she's not going anywhere. She's not sick. She's hiking with her husband and she's doing fine and she's still gonna be proactive. She's not gonna give up on anything and she'll have a long life too. So that's what the good news. Magical color for you Scorpios this week, red. And lucky numbers four and 22. Sagittarius, what a nice week. The intense full moon in your work sector and Mercury also in your sign for the next three weeks make you very popular, optimistic and sexy. At work, people listen to your ideas. You get along well also with relatives and family, neighbors, and you can play a big role in your community. And even at work, people listen. On the weekend, friendship definitely play an outstanding role. Your magical color, Fuchsia Lucky Numbers, 4 and 22. ta -da! Capricorn, the intense moon in your creative sector helps you determine the value of your possessions somehow you may equate security with how much you owe how much you own realize that the only security is in your heart you're lucky with real estate romance health issues avoid extravagant spending though just double check everything but you're doing very good. Things are actually rolling more smoothly in your life in general, and it feels good. On the weekend, loved ones reassure you. Leo Cancer definitely care. Your magical color, Capricorn, orange, lucky numbers, 7, 28. Aquarius, get ready for a satisfying weekend. The intense full moon in your home sector bring you deep feelings strong emotions and questions about your future dig deep for answers you're highly intuitive these days and more aware of what you want out of life go with the flow enjoy the moment live in the moment and bless the past in career make your moves because success is guaranteed taurus aries and cancers show true friendship for you and watch uh, watching a movie on the weekend and uh, maybe reading a good book or going to see some poetry somewhere would do wonders for your soul. Your magical color blue lucky numbers 3 and 35. Pisces, the intense full moon in your communication sector favors meditation, reflection about your life and taking steps towards making your life the best it could be. 
Do you feel taking in this easy maybe lately? You've been running around a lot in the last couple of months? Well, why don't you plan a vacation, take a break, uh, maybe go out of town, a little vacation on the weekend. It will do you a lot of good and I think you deserve it, don't you think so? By the end of the week, you may also get some encouraging news in career or finances. In love, you feel appreciated. If you're single, you definitely have to go out. Even in these crazy days, go out, life goes on. On the weekend, it's reminiscence, happy memories, memories. Your magical color, purple, lucky numbers, 3 and 21. Aries. This is a very rewarding week. The intense full moon in your financial sector brings high energy and also hope. You look fabulous too. You get answers about your questions, about your goals and what you want to do in the next couple of uh, months. It is a very good time for accomplishments and for rewards. And in love, you get the support of your mate, your family, your friends. You can also finally see the light at the end of the tunnel pretty much in general in your life, so enjoy that. And on the weekend, inviting people over at the house to celebrate you, that would be a good idea, and it will make you feel good, and other people's too. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 8 and 22, ta-da! Taurus, the intense full moon in your sign makes you electric, powerful, and generous of heart. At work, define terms and find out what is expected of you, or if you're a leader and the boss, just push on your goals and really go and think and raise the bar of your infinite possibilities. Working behind the scenes to help other people is very rewarding and a good time for group activities, charity work, and finding a job maybe, and falling in love. All good for you this week. People also appreciate you very much for your help and generosity on the weekend. Your magical color is green, lucky numbers, five and 23. Gemini's, ta -da! the intense full moon in your spiritual sector brings you enlightenment and new ideas. The focus is on making a fresh start, pushing on your goals and making your mark in the world. A good time to plant your seeds, especially in career, to compromise. Success is definitely guaranteed if you are on the right side of history. Uh, also a new approach in the way you do things, long range projects. Well, it's necessary right now. Do it differently, be crazy a little bit, but always do it with the heart, not with the mind and not with the money. You attract new people that could make your life easier on the weekend, get together with loved ones, family, just to be happy. You need to be surrounded with, with friends right now. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers, three and 15. Cancers, the intense full moon in your social sector give you new wings and new outlook at your life and a lot of creativity. If you're an artist, a poet, a musician, mm, you will be greatly inspired. Good, I'm a Cancer. What was a dream not far ago or even long ago may slowly be hmm, stepping in you, into your reality. And when you thought it was like going that way, you may end up going that way. Whatever it is, just take a risk and just be brave and do whatever it takes to be the best. You're definitely doing very well at work and in finances and also in your personal life. Get together with your team, make your strategies, plan ahead and push on your goals. Connect with people, send the email, make the phone call, show up because now you could get the feedback that you were waiting for. In love, count your blessings. We also on the weekend, it brings tenderness, joy and many smiles. Your magical color pink, lucky number 6 and 21. Leos, the intense full moon in your career sector help you solve past issues. In career, a good time to negotiate a new deal. Have faith, your efforts will soon pay off. You do have a strong intellect and you are able really, really to help people and negotiate, except it's a good time to agree to disagree and to compromise with any opponents. It's very important to keep your thoughts positive. And love and peace attitude is the key to your happiness and success in everything you do. And remember also that emotions are very strong and they've been controlling your life a little bit, so be emotionally detached and you'll get things done. On the weekend, loved ones and friends warm your heart. Taurus, Cancers, and Aquarius really like you. Your magical color gold, lucky number six and 36. 
Virgos, the intense full moon in your karmic sector makes you feel strong but also intuitive, very uh, connected to things. You can almost read the spirits and everything. You're alert and you're ready to be the best you can be and to be in charge of your destiny. I love it. But this week, open up your heart and share your emotions. Say what you feel. Get counsel in spiritual. Go and see an astrologer, a numerologist or as a mystic it will help you a good time also to help others but but charity does start with you and it's a good time to really protect your energy always you can also play a very nice role in the community inspire other people the secret of your happiness this week is surrounding yourself with positive people and let go of all the vampires on the weekend take care of the number one which is you aquarius Cancer, Libra are definitely your friends. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Libra, the intense full moon in your shared resources sector makes you creative and popular and sort of flying over everything. Even the election thing did not move you as much as other people. You were able to be more emotionally in control. Hmm, I like that. Get ready for a fun social activities this week and new inventive ideas that comes to you for career. You may feel also a little um, sort of re-questioning everything but in a very positive way, especially in the love department. Everything to do with pets, children, arts, music, uh, sort of um, makes your heart feel good. Family will definitely gather around you, especially on the weekend, so enjoy the good company, the good food, a little drink and partying a little bit, anyways, it's fun and warm. Sagittarius, Aquarius and Geminis are definitely your allies, your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers, 8 and 17, ta-da! And now is your wizard affirmation of this life-changing, extraordinary week, that's the, the least we could say, right? Well, guess what? I'm gonna tell you exactly what I feel about it. I believe profoundly that everything is energy. Well, we all know that scientifically. Everything grows always towards the light in the universe. And everything happens for the better good. We are now being made aware of what needs to be healed in this country, in our lives, so let's roll up our sleeves, let's be honest with ourselves, and, and go back to love. Whatever side you're on, there's only one way out, go back to love. And let's work and make our lives, uh, our, our life and our society, our country, the best it could be. And the world too. We all are one big heart. So now we have to start loving each other no matter what at the end. That's the only sanity. I invite you also to watch what I think and all the way I evaluate with this election and what I see about the future that will happen to this extraordinary country of USA and how to cope with whatever you know went on. Whatever you want, you love the election, you know some people are jubilant and jumping around like rabbits and the other, the other people are very scared and very worried and I don't blame them. So let me, I invite you to watch very soon on YouTube. I'm going to be posting this show called The Future About the Election and what's going to happen with everybody, how I see everything unfolding. Don't miss it on Jojo's YouTube channel. And of course, if you need a little counsel, you need a little boost of energy, please book a reading with me. I will be delighted just to put you back on the path of the heart so you can be the happiest you can be. And never give up on love. Never, never give up on hope. I love you. Remember, love will always trump hate. Love will always trump hate. I love you. Bye.